Praise our holy name. Praise our holy name. I made a video once that called out to Elizabeth and asked her to repent. Well, I'm going to say it again. Please, 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 please repent. Elizabeth. You know, Yeshua died for us all. Yes, He did. He died for you and He died for me. And you probably flagged this one down just like you did the other one that I, I made. And I'm not going to re-put it back up because I'm going to say this once again and asking that the Holy Spirit, the Ruh Kodesh, just flows in love to you and all of a mighty wind. I just plead the blood that the Father just pour out that love to you through me in this video. You don't seem to really understand what you're doing. You, you really do curse people. You pray for their death. You slander people's name and you bring their families into it. But yet, if someone would bring your family into it because you have sons. And if all of a sudden someone started naming their names and bringing them into the picture, you would be beside yourself. And I wouldn't blame you. I, I would not blame you at all. Because you see, our fight isn't with you. It is against that spirit that rules you. Somewhere along the line, you picked up an evil spirit, a lying spirit, a spirit of Jezebel, a controlling spirit. Somewhere along the line you did. And you said some horrible, horrible things about people. You said some pretty bad things about me and really prayed horrible prayers on me. But there's others that, oh, you beat up a lot worse than me totally lied about them, slandered them. And you know, if they really wanted to, because I have a lot of your videos, and I have a lot of your comments, you know, that you made against these people, in cursing them, and saved them. And I'm not the only one, there's others. But if they really decided to get a lawyer, if everyone went together and decided to have one lawyer to represent every one of them, and that could be done, they could sue you for slander. But you know what? What does that prove? What does that prove? It proves nothing. Mm. I really feel sorry for you. I really do. I'm totally at peace and at rest. Knowing that Yeshua truly loves me and that He's coming soon. and I praise His name. 
where he loves. He truly loves. He doesn't hate. But somewhere you picked up the spirit of hate. And it's so strong and it's so evil that it's dragging you down. And yes, there are many that come in against you to get you off of YouTube. And you know, I can't blame them. I really can't. I wished it wouldn't have to go that far because you know what? I just feel sorry for you because you won't wake up. We've all cried out to you. We cried and asked for you to repent. You know what? You don't even ask, have to ask for my forgiveness or apologize to me. I've already forgiven you. And Yeshua knows that. But there are some that I really would like to see apology to, but if you just repent, heck with apologies. Save face and just say, I repent, and really repent. I know you know about hell. I know you know about the lake of fire that will be coming in the great white throne judgment. I know that you know that Satan himself in the great white throne judgment will be thrown in the pit of fire. Not the dark pit, but the pit of fire. And I don't want to see you join him there. You know, I know where I'm going. I really do know where I'm going. But until you repent, I fear for where you're going. And I, I stand with all of the others in love, in forgiveness, I stand with all the others, even the ones that have become weary and tired and angry at you. Because I can see why. When you bring people's wives' name into it, or their children, or if it's a woman, the husband's name into it, That's not good. That's not good. And all I can say, with the Sabbath so close, as I light the Sabbath candles, I will pray a special blessing over you that you will repent that you will be convicted of all the hate that you're spreading. Because when you stand before Yahweh and He begins to ask you questions and hold you accountable for every word, every thought, and every deed, and then he starts holding you accountable for all your group that you've had led into this mess. People that are hurting, hurting and painfully seeking the true love of Yeshua. But coming to you and you feed on their hate.
and multiplied their hate and their anger instead of teaching them how to forgive those that hurt them, whether it's their parents, their siblings, their own mate, <laughs> or the neighbor next door. Instead of teaching them to forgive and let that light, that true light of Yeshua shine forth from them, you compound their hate and their anger and make them more miserable. And it does. Hate makes you miserable. It does. It's, it's like a cancer that feeds upon you. It's a type of cancer that only one person can remove, and that is Yeshua, if you turn your heart over to Him and repent. Yes. Now, you made videos, I mean, y'all servant 777 made videos where I was trying to talk to you and bring you back, made fun of me, called me names, and called me a liar, and said, prove it. Well, you know, I don't have to prove anything because your own words and your group's own words condemn you. And why YouTube lets this go on, um, I don't understand. Because the hate that you speak out is abusive. It's, it's just unspeakable hate that you just and your group just pour out on other people people that are honest people that are trying to serve Yeshua and Jesus Christ you, you say that you're Jewish well I know that I'm Jewish on my mother's side But yet, you act more like, what can I say, the Pharisees? Hmm. They hated Yeshua. They cursed him. They plotted to kill him. And they did. Eventually, they did. And yes, there's some things that I believe like you, which I, I was shown a long time ago on some of these things. But then there's other things that... Mm -mm, mm -mm. So, I don't know how to reach you as myself. If I could, I would, but I don't have the power. If God will not intervene and um, <laughs> sort of like thump you in the head and say, stop it, maybe it's trying, I don't know, but you're just not listening. You really aren't listening. You're, you're over the edge. And the things that you are saying and writing needs to stop. And Arn Cross, he is so proud of himself to let all of your hateful, mean comments stay up on his channel. But all the comments that I spoke and I tried to speak in love, he took down. He took down. You know, I feel sorry for you too, Arn Cross. I 
don't know what kind of hold this woman has on you, but she has something. Because you feed upon her hate too. And I, I grieve for you. I had prayed that you would come into that place where you would see the hate and anger and bitterness and realize how wrong it is that somehow you could reach out to her and and bring her back. But no, you've fallen into the, to the trap too. And you don't want to hear my love that I speak even for you because I do love you on cross and I pray for you. I love Elizabeth and I pray for her. I love her husband. And Paul, you hear me? You know who you are. I love you. I thought you were one of the nicest men I ever met. But you go along with everything your wife says, and I guess, Lord forgive me, that may be a false accusal. Maybe you're standing back there in the background hollering at her and saying, you know, you need to stop this. <laughs> and she won't listen to you any more than she listens to us, so I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not there, so Lord forgive me. Because we are not to falsely accuse people that's in the commandments we are not to judge people we're not to do a lot of things that you do that totally 100% breaks the Ten Commandments the thing that you preach that we all have to abide by and you break Yeshua's heart when he teaches us to love to forgive our enemies pray for them that despitefully use, use us and not to render evil for evil but to render good for evil and blessings in Paul it says to to bless and not curse. Please, please wake up before it's too late. Please. And stop this. Stop this warring because you're the one that keeps it going. Everybody else would like for it to go away and end. But, no, you keep it going. You, you like the war. You like the attention that it brings to you. Where you can stand and say, see how mean they are to me? No, we're not mean. We love you. Or I do. Maybe I shouldn't speak for everybody else. I love you. And I pray for you to come out of this. And I know, I know, you'll make fun of me and laugh at me, but that's okay. I don't, I don't care. See, I really don't care. Because the only person is hurting is yourself. Because all of this is going to come back upon you. And I don't want to see that happen. That's why I pray when I see a curse is being prayed. I pray that that curse is put in a box. Sealed up. Nailed down. And thrown into the sea of forgetfulness. Because I don't want it coming back on you. 
but I do know some of them have, and I believe you know they have. Yeah, I do. Why do you think sometimes you're sick in body? <sighs> but I stand with the others. I, 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 I stand with Samo and agree with what he said, you know. Um, I stand with him. I stand with Bruce. I stand with George. I stand with Molly. I stand I stand with everyone and I pray for them to have the strength. The strength to know how to forgive you and send that love that is unspeakable your way. A love that is unconditional to you. I send it forth. And I pray right now, Satan, take your hand off of my sister. Take your hand off of Almighty Wind group. Take your hand off of it and bring and bring your nasty, hateful self out of them and go back to that dark hole where you live. I ask it in the name of Yeshua. Pour the conviction power down upon them all. In the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach. Amen.